everybody, welcome back to the family channel. Hello. Hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we are going to be reacting to five US states with the deadliest wildlife. Now, what kind of animal? What kind of animals do you think they're going to be there? Alligators. Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah I thought grizzlies also. Rattle Maybe snakes? snakes. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be coyotes in there. Oh, mm. what is that thing? That cat? Mountain lion. Yeah. A puma. P or cougar. Oh, that's yeah. cool. They're quite dangerous, the I think so, lions, yeah. I think it? so, yeah. I'm quite interested to see because I love my wildlife. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought this video would be a cool one to uh -huh, check out. I think yeah. it is. Anyway, guys, if you don't mind, please scroll down and just hit the subscribe <laughs> if button. If you don't mind, so <laughs> polite. Get in. The USA is one of the deadliest countries in the world when it comes yeah. to wildlife, as it's home to many creatures yeah. that can seriously injure or even kill you. Of course, some states are more dangerous than others. And in today's video, I will be going through some of the deadliest. I will be judging the states oh, on the number of fatal sharks. animal attacks from 1999 Wait, to 2019. And there are five states that stand out. The number of fatal animal attacks varies greatly from state to Whoa. state, and this is due to a wide variety of factors. Beautiful, some right? states mm -hmm. have a much larger population than others, and some have a relatively oh. small population of deadly animals. No, yeah, that's, that's the mountain lion, isn't In it? the US, yeah. since the year 1970, the most dangerous wild animals have been brown bears, sharks, snakes, black bears, and bears. alligators. These yeah, animals only lot. tell half of the story, as a large number of Americans Dolph. are killed by pets and livestock, and many are taken by insects. If a state has the deadly combination oh, of a large population of humans and a large population of dangerous animals, it's more than likely that they'll be on this list. Without I birth. watched a video yesterday and I'm quite, I like my hunting and they were hunting black bears, but they were using dogs. Oh. No, they didn't. The dogs didn't bite the bear or anything, but then they tree the bear. So the bear goes up in the tree. And what frustrated me was not the fact that they were hunting the bear. Yeah, it was a bit rough or anything, but they were there for so long. So the bear was like watching them. He's freaking out as it is, you know, his heart must be racing. He must have been so scared. They were talking and shouting, hey, come on, bear. And then they shot the bear, which... In my opinion, just go up. If you're going to shoot it, shoot it. Like, put it out of its misery. Don't taunt it. That really yeah. frustrated me. I know that's probably ado, a bit of a We can take a story. look at our first state, and that state is Tennessee. Tennessee has more caves than any other state, Whoa. and it's home to the country's largest Velocity. underground lake. Tennessee is home to quite a few dangerous animals, Rattles and some of these Great. animals are venomous. Oh, yeah. You can find mm -hmm, potentially yeah. dangerous mm -hmm. spiders such as the black widows and the brown recluse. And it's also home to some Beautiful. venomous snakes such as the copperhead, the cottonmouth, the timber oh, rattlesnake, yeah. and the pygmy rattlesnake. I love the pygmy. Oh. The, the pygmy rattlesnakes are probably, like, I know everyone likes, like, the, the timber rattlesnakes and that, but the, the pygmies are... I have the Ohio book who sent, I don't know who it was, and there's a pygmy, pygmy rattlesnake they there. Cool. Mm -hmm. Not kill you directly, but you can die Hot if you man. go into Hot anaphylactic yeah. shock. Tennessee is also home to oh. some large predators, oh. with some of the most iconic predators being black bears and cougars. These go. animals are of course very dangerous, but fatal attacks on humans are relatively rare. In Tennessee, you'll also have to look out for large herbivores, as these oh, animals... Oh, we've actually got them here. And yeah. um, we drove, where were we driving the other day? To Mikulash, when he was yeah. playing hockey. And I pointed out to Cat the damage they have done to a field. The whole field is rooted by the wild boar. Yeah. And then in the forest here, where we are, I found how, so many skulls, didn't I? Yeah. But, like, I mean, like, they're trying to hunt them now. Mm-hmm. Because there is a swine flu. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. And also they're overpopulated, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Like, they cause a bloody havoc, these things. And deadly in certain circumstances. Deer and wild boar can kill people if they're startled. And they can also kill people in traffic collisions. Mm. Mm. As well as this, so many people in Tennessee are killed by pets and livestock. And from 1999 oh. to 2019, 170 people lost their lives due to animal attacks in mm. Tennessee. Whoa, this puts that's... Tennessee at number five. And we won't have to travel far for our next state. Oh, that's just number North five. Carolina borders Tennessee. And because of this, it shares a lot of its wildlife. North Carolina has a larger human population than Tennessee, yes, but the two the states fuck, yeah. are a similar yeah. size. This means that the people in North Carolina are more likely to come into contact with wild animals. And North Carolina has a few more dangerous species than Tennessee. 
North Carolina is home to a healthy population of alligators. Mm. And these animals can be very... Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea that there is alligators in Carolina, North no, Carolina. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not really scared of alligators. I know I, I should be. I respect them. I respect them enough not to be scared of them because I'm not going to put myself in a position where I'm going to get... You know what I mean? Yeah, because like it, we watched yeah. my video. Yeah, because in South Africa, we've got Nile crocodiles. We used to go fishing in the Tugela River in Man, like Mandini. And my mates and I used to walk across with our fishing rods in our hand and up to our like necks in the water, which was stupid now. Um, so I don't know whether it's that, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I mean, I'm not going to go and touch one or anything, but... I'm pretty comfortable. Too. Yeah, but they can be so fast, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah, but they're not. They less Especially aggressive. Especially when you're feeding them. I'm probably gonna get argued with here. They're less aggressive than like crocodiles. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very dangerous, especially to young children. Although there have been a few confirmed sightings, Look. alligators are very it's rare in Tennessee, so you're very unlikely to be attacked by one there. The people That's of good. North Carolina not only have to be wary of alligators, but they also have to be wary of ocean creatures. Unlike Tennessee, yeah, North Carolina has that's coastal that's regions, and this means that there houses. have been some shark attacks over the years. Since 1935, there have been at least 70 unprovoked shark attacks Ooh. off the coast of <laughs> What's North What's a provoked Carolina. shark attack? <laughs> yeah. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> sharks. I, I'm also not too phased of sharks. Like, don't get me wrong. I know they could kill me. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm gonna fight off a shark. But I think it's because I grew up in the sea and like, like we it were. Depends on the situation, mm. isn't it? If I'm not gonna put myself in like a shark. I don't know. I would like actually yeah. saying that. I wouldn't mind doing the shark cage diving. Uh, really? Yeah. I would. I would. Yeah. Really? Mm. Oh no! I I'd probably be shitting myself. Oops, oh, excuse me. I'd probably be scared, but <laughs> yeah. I'll beep that. <laughs> okay. And this is a relatively large number compared to other coastal states. As well as this, it's also home to a few venomous snakes that can't be found in Tennessee, and this means that it's had a few more fatal oh, animal attacks. From the years 1999 to 2019, 180 people lost their lives due to animal attacks in North Carolina. Whoa. And this means Whoa. that North Carolina is the fourth deadliest state. For our next state, we will be heading south as we will be traveling to Florida. I was gonna I'm sure Florida that before be many of you even clicked on this video, you knew that Florida was going to end up on this list. Everywhere. Florida mm -hmm. has garnered the reputation of being a very crazy state. And its ecosystem is quite crazy too. Mm -hmm. As Florida has a humid tropical climate, it's home to quite a few animals that can't be found in any of the other states. Louisiana and Florida have the largest alligator populations, and Florida is also home to the American crocodile. Since 1948, there have been around 450 alligator attacks in Florida, and around 30 of these attacks have been fatal. Oh, Florida is also surrounded by a very vibrant marine ecosystem, and in this ecosystem you'll find many dangerous predators. Florida had the most unprovoked shark attacks in the US in 2023, <laughs> and Florida made up 16, 16. of the total 36 Double cases in the US. Florida is home to potentially dangerous mammals such as the Florida panther, but this cat is extremely rare. As I've covered many times on the channel before, Florida is one of the worst affected areas when it comes to invasive, species, invasive species, and some of these species can be very dangerous. There are a large number of invasive spot. snakes, mm -hmm. and the world's deadliest crocodile has also been spotted in the Everglades. Yeah, now, All of these factors now, need to crocodile. In Florida. Yeah, because there's so many invasive species. They've got Burmese pythons there. There's been, there's been anacondas found there. There's a lot of invasive fish, alligator. Uh, Anaconda? Alli yeah, because people released them and there was a facility that used to breed them that got wrecked in one of the hurricanes or what did they have there? Yeah, hurricanes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what else is there? There's loads of invasive fish as well. Like in the drains along the river, on, along the roads and that, people go there with like nets and they yeah. catch fish tank mm -hmm. fish. Yeah, you I know saw that. You that. Keep? Yeah. People, yeah. So how would they get the Nile crocodile? Like somebody had it as a pet? It's or? escaped from somewhere or, yeah, who knows? That's it's crazy. Mental. they got snakehead fish there. To Florida being a relatively deadly state. And a lot of people in Whoa, Florida live in close proximity house. to wild mm -hmm. areas. Yeah. 
From 1999 to 2019, 247 people were killed by animals in Florida. And this means that Florida is the third deadliest state. For our next state, we will be heading west, as we will be traveling to California. California has the largest human population of all the 50 states. And as of 2023, there are around 40 million people living here. This makes up around 12% of the national like population. And there are more people in California than there are in Canada. Canada. California's Canada. large human population is one of the main reasons why it has so many fatal animal attacks. As its wildlife isn't as dangerous as some other states. A large number of people killed by animals in California are killed by dogs and livestock. But of course there are some dangerous wild animals out there. California is home to black bears and cougars. And it's also home to a large number of venomous desert animals. These animals can kill you in certain yeah, circumstances. And of venomous. course, California yeah. is another coastal state. As yeah. California has such a large population, all these animal attacks add up. And from 1999 wow. to 2019, 299 people were killed by animals in <laughs> California. This slots them in at number two. And to find the deadliest state in the US, we will be heading three. east. Texas has a very large human population. Texas, you were right. Garen was like, I wonder if Texas is going to be there. And I was like, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. How is Texas the first? We're going to see. Old state. It's home to many wild open areas. Ah, and it's also home to a lot of livestock. Probably livestock. There are around 12 million cattle in Texas. And these animals kill around 20 people each mm -hmm. year in the US. Oh, wow. This means that cattle kill more people. I was telling Kat about some aggressive bulls I've come across. I had one on our farm and then my friend's mum had one as well. They freaking aggressive buggers. People than bears and sharks That's combined. And it's one of the reasons why Texas is so high up on this list. Texas is home to a large number of venomous snakes, with many of these snakes being <laughs> rattlesnakes. As well as this, Texas is also home oh. to large predators, such as alligators, mountain lions, and bears. Texas is the largest of the lower 48 states, and it also has the largest deer population. It's home to around 5.5 mm. million deer, and sometimes these deer can kill people. Okay. Some that hunters are killed directly by deer, but deer can also cause fatalities on the road. Deer vehicle collisions lead to around 200 human deaths each year Holy in the US. Smokes. And this is part of the reason why Texas 200. is such a deadly state. From 1999 to 2019, 520 people were killed by animals in Texas. And this means that Texas is the deadliest state when it comes to wildlife in the USA. If there are any other I states that you I agree feel with should have made list, it though. into this video, mm -hmm. then let me know down in the comments Alaska. below. But thank you for watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed. No, because you would think it will be actually the dangerous or, animals, no, not the deer. Or wildlife. Well, yeah. yeah. Livestock isn't wildlife. Yeah. Or the dogs. Or dogs. And like deer, accidents. I, I suppose it makes it... Okay, they, deadliest actually means that how many people yeah. are being killed by them. But I was expecting like, alligator ripped off someone or yeah, a shark or attack snake or shark attack yeah. or cougar maybe we, we maybe we just gory yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, that, see i'm not phased really but i love animals i'm not phased by animals i've caught loads of venomous snakes in south africa i've dealt with sharks like not every day but i'm, I'm not really scared of animals am i i'm not no but like i, I respect them bears i think if i would go by the seaside around america i don't think i would go in what yeah there's loads of sharks yeah but there. you got you i think there's more chance of the plane that you're going to be flying over there crashing or getting struck by lightning yeah <laughs> really well yeah I, we used to go in durban we used to go swimming and bodyboarding and then out to the shark nets and we never had an issue like it's just it's one yeah. of those you can't live your life you can't not go in the sea because you're scared you're going to get mm -hmm. eaten by a shark that's like not driving because you're scared you're going to crash yeah that's true actually. or not run like yeah, yeah. not climbing because you're scared you're going to fall you've got yeah. to enjoy life no mm -hmm. would you swim 100 percent. yeah garen will wrestle with the sharks like that guy <laughs> on that movie i don't know if anyone's ever oh. seen um the Miss wrong the wrong missy where the guy's <laughs> hands been bitten off and he punched he's 
I don't know. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And we will see you, Wenger, tomorrow in the next video. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>